And I want to urge Kenyans to go to State House and get their monies from State House. It doesn't matter where this money will be gotten from, but Kenyans should rush to State House. Now that the decision is still hot, we strike while the iron is still hot. And you know very well, my brother, that right now people are suffering. People have paid, people have really paid uh, for this housing levy. They've been taxed, they've been overtaxed, they've been used, they've been misused. And I, I can tell you that Kenyans are sniffing the blood of revolution. Let them go to State House and get their monies from there. The idea of the postponement of this uh, to take effect from January, I don't think it is a right idea. Because already in the wisdom of the judiciary, they've seen that this thing is unconstitutional. So we can't say that it is constitutional now and it will be unconstitutional from January. It is unconstitutional ab initio from the beginning. And I want to say that the government was stealing from Kenyans. The government was defrauding the hard-earned money that belonged to Kenyans. And I want to say that this is a type of a theft, type of theft called theft by pen. I want to thank the judiciary for having a clarity of thought on the issue of housing levy. I did advise Kenyans and also talk to the president and did tell him that uh, housing is a private good. In economics, we have three types of goods. We have private good, and private good should be left to individuals to do, to get upon themselves. And then we have the public goods, which are goods like the roads, which should be provided by the government. And then we have the merit goods, where a government should create an enabling environment for these goods to be achieved, for these goods to be transacted on. And these are goods like uh, healthcare and also education. But this being a private good, and today, and it is very, very coincidental that I'm also in court today, and the reason why I was arrested, brought here in court, is because of the housing levy, fighting for Kenyans, so that this housing levy could be declared a nullity, null and void. And indeed, true to my words, and this proves my innocence, true to my words, today, the courts have agreed that the housing levy that was pegged on the Kenyans, put on the shoulders of Kenyans, indeed, is unconstitutional. And I want to really thank the judiciary for that.